Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is a Primark haul and I'm so excited about this, as you know I always am, because I haven't done one in a few months now and I went in store with the attention of autumn's coming, I need to be all cosy, I'm going to get all the jumpers in the world and kind of just got a mix match of absolutely everything. But I love what I got and there are quite a few pieces here so I'm going to get cracking. Okay, I'm going to start off with Actually a few of my favourite pieces, but they are slightly demolished because long story short, you know I can <laughs> digress and go on forever, but I promise I will keep this short. I actually had um, like a family get together yesterday, which was all very lovely, but it went on quite late and instead of going inside, we did the very like Instagrammable Pinterest, getting the fire out and burning, it was all very lovely, but I was sat right in front of the fire and my clothes now absolutely stink, so I can't wait to put them in the wash. <laughs> So yeah, they absolutely stink and I wanted to put them in the wash straight away, obviously, but I also wanted to film this video as soon as possible so that you could see it. So yeah, I'm starting off with this dusky pink duster jacket and I love this so, so much. A total like unnecessary purchase because I have very similar max and trench coats, but honestly, I just think it is so, so beautiful. It's this very, very lovely, as I've said a million times, dusky pink. I think it cost around 20 or 25. It was definitely one of those two, maybe 25 pounds. So it's definitely um, the, one of the more expensive pieces from Primark, but honestly, I've had so many, I wore it two days <laughs> and I've had so, so many compliments on it already. So I love this one so much. I actually took a few photos, so I'll pop them in as well, because sometimes it's a little bit easier to see how they look in a photo rather than just like the quick bit of footage in between but really really beautiful absolutely stinks of smoke so I'm gonna throw it down there but I do really really love that some really pretty um, like details on uh, the sleeves as well which I love the next very smoky stinky thing is this shirt and I these are just my absolute staple it's sort of a white linen-y shirt. I love the like oversized boyfriend, really loose fitting style shirt. I don't think I even own like a women's like properly fit shirt. I love it very baggy and like that Scandi style. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, but this one is absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna go back and purchase more because I love it so much. I got it about four sizes up because to be honest, the stock was absolutely terrible and they were all much bigger sizes. But I think with these kind of um, shirts anyway and when you want them to fit oversized, it's absolutely fine. But yeah, it's just so, so comfortable kind of struggling to talk because it does smell that badly of smoke but um yeah really really lovely so incredibly soft would never ever guess that it was from Primark because it just feels really well made so an absolute classic can't remember how much that cost I think it was in fact I do remember it was eight pounds and I think that will be something that I wear over and over and over and over and over, over, over and over again so it's a staple and obviously a bargain for eight pounds then I have some very demolished jeggings because uh, I've just like chucked them on my floor and they're very dusty because I'm not the best when it comes to housework um, but they are just the Primark jeggings so so comfortable I rely on these so yeah I love these they're just again such a staple I think when it comes to this time of year I'm all about investing or not so much investing because it's not like they're super expensive but um, really like going out and getting multiple of the staples so definitely going back to pick up some more shirts and definitely gonna get every color of these jeggings the next things I have are I feel like if you could sum up me in a piece of clothing or shoes these would be them. It's these like very, very granny slippers that are also like a little bit trendy with the sheepskin and I'm definitely not trendy, but I'm like a 23 year old in an 83 year old's body. So as soon as I saw these, I was like, oh, they'd be perfect for my Saturday night because I definitely <laughs> never ever go out and I would much rather order in a Domino's and be all cozy in my slipper socks, obviously, but these were £2.50, I think, and they are the softest, dreamiest things ever. So definitely, definitely pick yourself up some of these. And even though you'll feel like the biggest granny in the world, it'll be worth it. The next thing I have, again, sums up my life because it's a, a pajama shirt. And I am very much of the notion of why dress in anything else? If you can go out in things that feel like pajamas and apparently look like pajamas as well, absolutely do it. I definitely love the whole pajama trend thing. I know some people really, really don't get it, but I love it. And I saw this again, 
it's in a bigger size because they didn't have my size but it's meant to be well I think it's meant to be oversized so you can definitely get away with it I am all about the navy you can probably tell by this dress that I'm wearing um, and I've really like been gravitating towards navy recently so I love this so much I know I'm going to get so much use out of this the only thing I'm slightly concerned about is that it looks a little bit see-through but I think with a like very granny flesh tone bra I might be able to get away with it this cost £10 so again one of like the more slightly more expensive things in Primark but it actually doesn't feel too bad quality and I know that I will actually wear it loads the next thing I have is this amazing I mean I say amazing it's nothing special but I'm very excited about it this like ribbed um jumper dress I was gonna oh, I had like bodycon jumper dress ribs and then that made me laugh and I just couldn't get my words out but this is a maxi long oh let's start again it's one of those dresses that has the very clingy material it's a midi dress and it has a nice rib detail I think I'm gonna have to go with that because I have no more descriptive skills left in me but I um, purchased a very similar one that had um, like autumnal colours and a stripy pattern from H&M and I put it on Instagram not really thinking much I was just like oh I'll just work up my outfit like I do and I don't think I've had a item of clothing recently on Instagram where so many people have asked me where it's from even though it was definitely already tagged <laughs> but that happens all the time um, so when I saw this I had to get it I know it's not as interesting as the colors of the other one maybe I'll pop a picture on screen or if you want to go and follow me on Instagram L next door then you'll see that a few photos back but um I just love this style so much I think they look so nice with um like heeled boots or they look really nice with um mules as well and being black as well it's gonna go with everything the next jumper I have is definitely the more I'm looking at it I'm like it's not the most fashionable or trendy piece but actually I just really really love it it is this little bad boy and this is the kind of thing that I actually went in there for I wanted to go in there for some really autumnal cozy jumpers and roll necks and all of that jazz and obviously came out with totally <laughs> not those things but I did succeed once so I got this really love the colors brown navy baby pink never really would have said that they would have gone together but I absolutely love how it looks and it was one of those things that I don't think it looks much just to hold up but I saw it on the mannequin and it looks really really cute and it's also very soft and cozy this cost this this cost £10 um, and again it actually feels really nice quality so I know I'll be wearing it lots and lots and lots and I do kind of tend to justify my Primark calls by saying that but I genuinely will be wearing them constantly so price per wear is pretty much nothing Whoa. I'm currently sat on a log <laughs> a tree trunk that's been cut off and made into a bedside table because I was trying my best to be quirky and very good at interiors and I'm really not um, but yeah, it's not the most stable. So if I'm like falling all over the place, that is why. The next thing I have makes me laugh so much every single time that I look at it because I kind of love it and kind of can't work out if it's totally horrendous. It is this velour t-shirt and I have seen the likes of uh, who had one on? I think like Zoe London and somebody else. I can't think who. Maybe Susie or Alex actually from Hello October and I Covet Thee. I saw one of those girls or a few people wearing velour tops and they obviously look really cool um, and I saw it and was like maybe I could get away with that. Then I tried it on and was like I definitely can't get away with that but I have it anyway and I'm not sending it back because a, it was six pounds, and B, I'm gonna try and branch out of my comfort zone and make it work. I have no idea what I would wear this with, but I think I would just like wear a choker with it or something to make it even more 90s, um, and just like try and make it a little bit cool, cooler. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't really know what I think about this, to be honest. I kind of love it in a guilty pleasure way, so let's see how that one goes. Then I have a skirt, which actually I think would pair quite nicely with that. It is just a leather A-line skirt or mini skirt. In fact, it's not leather at all. It's from Primark and it was £8. So it's definitely as pleather as pleather gets. Um, but I love this. Absolutely love this style. The granny in me has just looked at it and thought, oh, that's a bit short. <laughs> 
<laughs> then I reminded myself that I'm 23 and I could probably still get away with this kind of skirt for a few more years um, but I really really love it hoping that it fits nicely because I think that it's quite hard to find skirts like this that are really flattering but I think that this would work so well with jumpers or roll necks or even t-shirts like the velour one that I just showed you um, converse boots loafers again it's one of those pieces that will work with absolutely everything and also shirts I can't wait to wear a shirt with this and that really shows you how boring my life is that I'm really looking forward to wearing this with a shirt then I have a couple of home bits I have this candle because I was gonna say clearly I don't have enough candles but actually you can't see them I don't know if you can see this one here it's like a tall candle that's lit and I usually have about four along here but didn't have room for them amongst all of my quotes and then I also have oh no there's five on the floor down here in my fireplace so definitely didn't need it but it was pretty and it was at the counter which is the equivalent to Sephora's Isle of Doom you know when you go to pay at the end and there's all of those things lined up and you just have to to grab like at least 10 of them these are on the counter and they just they're very noisy <laughs> they look so cute I loved this little pink one this is number nine wild orchid and honey it's very very sweet but I feel like um, when they're burning it probably won't give off a huge amount of scent so I just thought that was really cute and I'll pop that somewhere it'll probably end up on Instagram because I'm basic like that finally I have a fro very very excited about this again live it up to my granny reputation but there is nothing better than being all cozy and having a throw over you <sighs> really need to get a life i do have i actually have uh three from primark so far and honestly i don't even know if i'd go anywhere else because they are so so soft and obviously really really affordable and they look amazing as well and have so many designs um that i just can't justify spending more even in like h&m or zara home or somewhere like that because they're just so beautiful this is just a plain sort of like grey with a bit of like a brownie undertone super soft fro it was four pounds and honestly this bad boy is so soft and that is the end of my haul i feel like i had quite a few things but i've managed to go through it quite quickly so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you've had any amazing buys from primark recently um if you do like the video please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and if you do subscribe and if you are already subscribed then i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching Bye.